Hello, everybody. I'm Cheryl Burton. And I'm Jim Rose, and welcome to another edition of Heart and Soul, the show that takes a look at what's hip and happening in and around this great city that we call home. Throughout the month of February, many people across the nation celebrate the great accomplishments of this country's most profound individuals who have left an indelible mark on society. Now, in this episode, we'll introduce you to some local Chicagoans who are hoping to make a difference in the community and leave their own footprints in the sand of life. Here's Karen Jordan with a look at two guys on a mission to groom countless young boys into educated young men. Here's their story. When class lets out at Paul Revere, the school of hard knocks begins for these young guys who are learning self-discipline and self-respect at an incredibly early age. These boys, who range in age from 5 to 18, aren't just learning how to train their bodies, but their minds as well, thanks to these foster dads who are filling in the gap. We started the Ring of Hope program because a lot of the crime and gang activity that was going on in our community, and we were just trying to find some type of vehicle that we could use to engage our young men in positive activities. And so we thought that we could use boxing as a vehicle not only to get the young men involved or engaged, but also to teach them some type of focus or self-discipline. This concept, known as the Ring of Hope, began in the summer of 2010. Our hope is that some of the things they're learning within this program will also transcend into their homes, in the community, as well as in the schools. The kids get help with their homework thanks to a team of volunteer workers. Count it out. One, two, three. The program also devotes a period of time to physical fitness, and then it's time for boxing. Hands up. Boxing as a sport, it really requires focus in terms of how you stand the type of punches and angles and so forth and so on. And we're seeing that our kids are able to learn this. After the sparring session, the boys have a candid talk about life and what the future holds for them. We learn self-defense, self-control, self-respect, to set goals in our life that we like to reach. Like, whatever you want to do, you can put your mind up to it and then work hard for it. We feel the necessity to fill in the gap where fathers are lacking, where um, significant men in the households are lacking, so they learn the things that a young man needs to know. This grassroots organization was launched without any funding except for a few local business owners who donated their time, money, and resources. Wow. What excites me is the fact that it's keeping me off of the street and that they're actually helping me with boxing and school. I hear these young kids fighting in the streets and shooting each other. And I say, it's got to be another alternative. And I really enjoy, you know, working with the kids. I feel there's a calling. They know we've been there. They know we know. They know we love them and they know we understand. We have a lot of kids you know, that don't have male role models at home. I'm just hoping that maybe that they see what I do with my son to kill the notion that, you know, there's no good fathers to take care of their sons. In addition to exercising and learning the mechanics of boxing, these little warriors also distribute food to the homeless and less fortunate every Thursday, hoping to learn the importance of community service. We're trying to bring young men together from different sides of the community, different gangs, to come together and talk and dialogue and learn together to really deal with some of the gang violence in our community. These kids are very much susceptible to the violence that plagues their community. So to protect them when they're most vulnerable, they're escorted over to the center by Sam Binion. Every morning at 7.45, from Monday through Friday, the children meet me on my porch. Not only has he impacted the lives of these young boys, but his presence in the classroom helps the teachers focus on teaching rather than disciplining. Once our boys get settled in, in the classroom, I go to every teacher in the morning, check on the behavior of our young men. When Sam goes to the school and comes back with various reports, we have what we call the community circle, and we make these young men accountable for their actions. Kids, though they rebel against structure, they need it and they want it, and they keep coming back for it. 
We have to think outside of the box when it comes to parental involvement and community engagement. And so by working with the facilitators, they realized some significant gains. Specifically, the reading scores went up 19.4 points to 51%, and math 44 points to 90%, meeting or exceeding ISAT. They're excited about the boxing, the physical fitness. You know, they want to show who's macho and who's the strongest. But I think when they come, they get more than what they bargained for. They help us out with more than just boxing and school. They help, help us out with like, everything in life. So it gives me hope for the future that because even though we can't save them all, if we could save some, I think we've done our part. The Ring of Hope program is currently being supported by local businesses in the community. So if you'd like more information on how you can donate or volunteer your time, just log on to our website at abc7chicago.com. Coming up. Charles Thomas introduces us to a woman who is working feverishly to change the city's architectural landscape.